Thanks for joining me again. I am super excited because World Maker Faire in New York is only a few weeks away. And this year, I'm bringing a few projects, like this one. This is the high five counter. As you can see, it's just a glove with a numerical display that counts high fives. Every high five counts up the glove. Simple as can be. This one is for Joel Telling, the 3D printing nerd. He mentioned that it would be a cool project to have, and I thought, this sounds like a good challenge. The first thing I did was I just Googled high five counter to see what else was out there and what had already been built. It turns out there's a cool project on Instructables that uses a flexible switch and a circuit on the back of a glove to collect high fives. I liked that one, but I wanted a few changes. Mainly, I wanted a numerical display so you could see exactly how many high fives had happened at a glance. A little bit more looking around, and I found this really cool project on Adafruit's learning system that's a counter for likes. It's a simple project that just uses an Adafruit trinket, a numerical display, and a button. That's really all you need. And I thought that would be a perfect thing to make this high five counter. So I started with a glove, cut off the fingers, and started mounting the electronics on it. The display went on the back, the trinket went on the back, and for the switch, I opted not to use a flexible switch. Instead, I 3D printed this little enclosure that holds a momentary switch. I wanted something that I knew could take thousands of high fives through the weekend. After slapping it all together, all that was left was copying and pasting the code. You don't have to know how to code at all. The Adafruit tutorial actually has the code already done for you. You just copy it, paste it in, and there you go. I'm super happy with how this turned out. As you can see, it's not too bulky. It works great. It's easy to see. It's easy to read. Now, there are a few ways that you could make this project better. Uh, you could modify the code so that it counted beyond 9,999 somehow. You could add a battery pack so that you don't have this pesky cable going to an external battery pack. I'm pretty happy with it the way it is though, and I think Joel will enjoy it too. If you see him wandering around at World Maker Faire in New York, be sure to give him a high five and get this counter up as high as it goes. And if you make one of these on your own, bring it to Maker Faire. We'd love to see it, or just send me pictures. All right, I'll see you next time.